I mean, I, I really thought that uh, today that is the best I've seen us play this season from top to bottom. We give up 37 points. We needed to score. We scored when we needed to. Kurt played outstanding, was a monster going to the basket. Um, you know, Ian Ross, we've put a lot of responsibility on that kid, but you know what? His four threes were huge for us today. You know, but everybody contributed from a defensive perspective. When you can hold teams to 40 or less, you're going to win games. We really need to pick up two wins before the new year, and we haven't been two and three before the new year in a long time, so it's really great to get that win. Play really as well as the team today, and it was great. I love it. Talk about talk about your your fleet footed athleticism out there today. I mean, you were looking like a point guard, just running the floor, uh, finishing I, layups. I wouldn't go that far. But I don't know. <laughs> uh, the layups were there, free throws were not. But I just like taking it to the hole strong, and it feels really good when it falls into. Yeah, it was a big win for us because our coach was stressing that we only made two and three going into uh, yeah, yeah. the new year. And because past the two years ago they were zero and five, and then they were one and four last year, and then you wanted to be two and three to so keep getting better. And now it's just about getting six more. Yeah, I mean, we were just talking about in the locker room that we're starting to actually click and have a good time now. And the first week kind of sucked, but uh, but now we're starting to figure it out, starting to get in rhythm. And I think we have tons of possibility to get to that eight wins, which is what we need in the end of the year. And at a critical point in time when I took Jackson out, I have to give Mike DiPilato an enormous amount of credit because he came out today and played enormously big, six points, six rebounds, and felt looked very comfortable on the offensive part of the, uh, on the offensive floor. So I'm just the backup for Kurt Jackson just in case to get into foul trouble. And today Jackson got into early foul trouble, so I was just supposed to go in and fill the number five spot just to um, just kind of keep the game moving and defend and score points if I was able to, and that's what I did. The coach was happy I did so. Is it just hard to be consistent in doing that coming off the um, bench, or it is because you don't really know when to get ready, and you don't know you don't and you don't know if you're going to need, be needed that game, and do and what you're going to be expected to do. So it can be at times, but other times it's just fun to get in and play. We've got to get six now, um, and you know, I think there are some very elite teams in this FC Act this season, but I also think there's a lot of parity with teams that we can certainly compete and beat. And that's something we've got to start starting next, starting on Thursday when we come back to practice on Thursday and focusing on Bassick for Tuesday and New Canaan on next Friday.